Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm at Turkey Lake, uh, Bill Frederick Park at Turkey Lake. I mean, look at this big, beautiful body of water. Um, today, we're gonna be targeting largies and uh, I already walked the whole uh, park to see how much of this lake is fishable and we're pretty much all the way to the back side of the lake already we're gonna start at the back work our way all the way to the front on the way here there was a few docks that i seen that i'm gonna be standing on casting from and seeing if we can catch some bass uh right now it's pre-spawn season i see a few beds and none of them have fish on them so um that sucks but hey we're gonna see if we have any luck today but um i want to remind everybody about the giveaway uh we have the Guggenrod uh, go-to series um, rod that I'm going to be giving away here uh, at 100 subscribers. So please share this channel with your friends, family, anybody who likes bass fishing. But uh, without further ado, let's jump right into it. But we're going to try to cover a lot of water today. So the place that I'm fishing today is in Central Florida. Is right off a of Hiawassee Road. It's um, it's called Bill Frederick at Turkey Lake. Uh, I paid five dollars to get in here. They have camping sites. They have a bunch of stuff here, including this beautiful body of water. They also do boat rentals Thursdays through Sundays. Um, it costs thirty-two dollars plus tax. You have to uh, you have to uh, book for a boat rental probably like three four five days in advance i don't know exactly how many days in advance but you know the sooner the better um you can only rent a boat from like 7 a.m to 11 a.m which sucks you know it'd be kind of dope if you could actually rent it for the whole day but you know hey that's how they they run their business and you know we have to respect it so but 40 40 bucks for uh well 32 bucks for four hours that's like ten dollars an hour that's not bad you know it, i feel like if you're a real morning person want to get out on the water on a boat and uh get some top water action going from 7 to 11 is pretty much the best bet There's a bunch of species in this in this body of water as well. Uh, the lady at the front uh, when I was coming in, she uh, she gave me a little uh, pamphlet, and when I tell you, it showed every species of fish that was in this water. I mean, there's largemouth bass, there's a uh, black crappie, there's like three different types of catfish there's a uh, sunfish bluegills like all just all type of stuff faux fin um when i tell you this place is just loaded it's just that uh you know it's so big and they don't allow you to bring your own personal boat on here which sucks but like i said before that's how they run their business and you know we have to respect this so it is what it is if this don't get bit, we'll definitely change to a Mondo worm. One thing I want to say to the viewers is that I just recently went to Dick Sporting Goods in Gainesville, Florida, and uh, they have a bunch of Guggen stuff there. You know that uh, since my first video, I've always said I love Guggen products. It's actually uh, my favorite products to purchase and throw. I, I throw other stuff as well, other brands and stuff like that. Oh, that's a fish. I think that's a fish. Is it? Yep, it's a fish. Oh my God. Oh, that's a good one, guys. First fish of the day, it's like a four pounder. Oh my God. I knew we were doing the, the right thing by coming all the way back here. Holy crap, look at that. Dude, that might be a little bit bigger than four. Holy sh! When I tell you guys, he was right in that cover right there. I knew we were on him. Listen, guys, listen, okay? When I first entered this place, I was walking from the front to the back. Everybody that's fishing this body of water was all the way to the front. I decided to come as far back as possible 
where I didn't see anybody at the moment fishing and look, it paid off. So if you ever see bodies of water where there's nobody fishing or you feel like, damn, I can't get to that body of water, try your best to get to it, fish it, because if nobody fishes that body of water, you best to believe that you're gonna catch biggins. And that's what we just did. This is probably like about three and a half pound bass. So we're gonna get a weight on her. Dude, first fish, it's a freaking Mondo. Look at that, guys. Look at that. That's a beautiful, healthy fish. Look at the stomach. Holy crap. I told you, the lunker log, man. The lunker log is killer. The lunker log is a bass annihilator. All right. We got it zeroed out. I don't know if the camera could see that, but. All right, guys, that's three pounds, four ounces. Locked in at three, four. First fish of the day, a three pounder. Oh man, I'm excited. I'm really excited. We're gonna get a release on this mama. See where we can uh, release her at. All right, let's see. Oh, <laughs> all right, I see you, Ms. Rudeness. Well guys, first fish of the day, three pounds, four ounces. Let's get it. All right, guys, when we went ahead and put a weight on it, I didn't go with the 316th because the well, the wind here isn't like crazy bad. But if you're throwing weightless, you actually feel it. So uh, I went with a little bit smaller. I believe that's either an eighth or a sixteenth of an ounce. We just kind of need something to get our bait like dropping a little bit lower under all this cover to where the fish are hiding and hoping that they uh, eat this crack and crawl. Fish number two, guys. Fish number two. Let's go. It's a nice one. Two nice bass. All right, you gonna relax? I caught a three, four over there. And then uh, I missed two here, had three bites over there. And then I just moved here and caught this one. Yeah, I had one bite down there, and I'm gonna probably go try down in that grass area. Yeah, I, that's what I've been doing. I just been hitting all the, all, wherever I see some cover. Cause um, the lady up front, when I came in, I came here like eight months ago, didn't catch a single thing. She told me, she was like, well, right now we're in pre-spawn, so it should be pushing up. Try to hit wherever you see some cover. And that's what I've been doing, and it's been working. Okay, cool. Yeah, this is the first time I've tried fishing this part of Florida. 
Yeah. yeah. The coast once like a year ago, so we'll see. Okay. Well, I wish you luck, buddy. Okay, same to you. Thank you. All right, guys. Look at that. Decent bass. Uh, it's a pretty decent one. Not quite as big as the first one we caught, but hey, you know what? Just for the hell of it, let's get a let's get a weight on her. All right. That first one was a 3-4. Let's see uh, what this one's going to be. I say maybe two. Uh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Stop. Oh, yeah, guys. 2-1. Two, 2-1. One. Two, one. Let's go ahead and get her back in. All right. She's good. All right, guys, quick rundown. I met a, a, a gentleman here named Bob. Uh, had a few shiners. So he asked me if I could help him uh, get rid of the shiners and use them because he wasn't going to use them all. We started tying on some shiners, but right here, there was an actual uh, a gar that was uh, biting the uh, shiner. I don't know exactly where he went right now, but we're going to see if he comes back. Oh, he's over there. There's a few of them. Oh, he got it again. Guys, it's been a, a very long time since I caught a gar, so I really want to catch this gar. It'll be pretty cool. They literally came out of nowhere. We're going to get back to bass fishing in a few minutes. Uh, I'm just hell helping Bob... Um, run through these minnows. The park closes in an hour, so I guess that's why he uh, wants to run through these minnow, I mean, through these shiners real quick. So I'm just helping him. He got it. Nah, yeah, he got he got it all right. <laughs> That's it, buddy. That's the last two. Yes, sir. So let's just both bring something in, huh? Right. Look, he's right there. Go feed him. Oh, did he take the minnow? I mean, the no, he did not. Cool. Whoo, would have sucked. All right, people, that's going to bring this video to an end. We didn't really catch a lot of fish, but hey, we started out great. We caught those two decent bass. Uh, I think was one was like two two, the other one was like three four. Uh, we had a few bites, lost a couple. Um, it was very very cool me meeting Bob. If Bob, if you ever see this uh, video, it was very nice to meet you. I look forward to coming out here in the future and meeting up with you again. I want to remind everybody again about the giveaway, the Guggen Green Series Go To Rod that me and my wife are giving away for a hundred subscribers. Uh, make sure you share this video 
um, I'm going to link my Instagram down below. So that way you can follow me on Instagram. Uh, the post is going to be put up on Instagram. What you need to do is to enter to win this uh, casting rod green series from the Guggen squad is you need to subscribe to the channel, turn on notification bells. Um, and then you need to go to my Instagram, follow my Instagram, which is Game Bread Fishing, and then uh, comment on the post for the giveaway, which will be up here, which will be up very soon. You need a comment done or your favorite lure to throw in pre-spawn season, okay? And that will enter you to win. Once we hit 100 subscribers, I'm gonna have my nine-year-old son, AJ, pick our winner from the comments. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, turn on notification bells. And uh, if you like the two fish we caught today, just hit that, hit that like button, man. It helps me, helps the channel. It helps the algorithm of this channel so other people that don't know about game bread fishing can find this channel and view the content on this channel. So, but to the next video, my family, Peace.